Hi, Mike with Courage to Change. Uh, today, I'm going to make a video and show people how to make a portable boudet. Okay? I've been doing a lot of thinking about it, and uh, what happens if we do run out of toilet paper? You know, we still need to keep good personal hygiene. And uh, I believe I found the solution. So, uh, please bear with me, and uh, I'm going to okay. show you. Everybody's got an old water bottle right? Or, uh, you know, a pop bottle, you know, anything with a screw on lid. Um, you know, you could even use a milk carton with a screw on lid. If you got a really big butt and need lots of water. Um, but I'm going to show you what, uh, what I do. To okay. Do this. So you take your cap, take your drill and you drill a hole in your cap like that. Now be careful. You don't drill through your finger. Okay. Cause you can do that. I almost did. Um, and then, uh, you just take your piece of tubing. Now you don't, I, I happen to be fortunate enough that my daughter has a fish tank. And so this was the airline that went to her fish tank. And, um, so I just cut some off and, uh, I figure, well, you know, if the fish die, then we can eat the fish. So, you know, two birds killed with one stone here. So anyway, then I take and you push your tubing in there like that you want a nice tight seal because you don't want water squirting all over the place right and then uh just take and fill your bottle up with you know toilet water if that's all you have or you know you seize a sink whatever right and you just screw the lid on there now you just uh look at that that you get one hell of a squirt out of that right you know you just Wipe it on your business. And yeah, then uh, that's my idea. Now, you know, if uh, if you don't have a fish tank and you think, oh, well, I can't do that, I don't have a fish tank. Well, you know, for you ladies, you can use a nice pink straw. And so you could have one for the boys and one for the girls, right? Or whatever. Or if it's your personal one, just put it in your pocket. And the same thing, I just melted, I took and melted the end a little bit so the hole was a little smaller. And just used the proper hole, put that in. Works fantastic. What really got me thinking about this thing today was um, on the front page of the newspaper, uh, there was this guy handing out hand sanitizer to homeless people. I mean, being the good addict that I was, you know, the first thing I would have thought of was, oh yeah, you know, I've got something I can sell. I'd have gone and sold that hand sanitizer and bought myself, you know, enough to stay well. I should well. mention a couple of things as a legal disclaimer. Um, one is, is uh, you do this at your own risk. And uh, as far as, you know, drilling and things like that. Uh, the other is with the straw. You know, if you live in the Seattle, King County area, uh, straws are illegal. You know, so they've kind of screwed themselves, you know, in time of crisis now, haven't they? Um but I use these, you know, you can use one of these little bendy straws, you know, if you have one. Anything that'll bend or any, you know, piece of tubing. It can be anything. It could be a pen as far as that goes. Take and melt a pen and put a little bend in it. You know, whatever, you know, everybody's got a big pen. Uh, whatever. I mean, uh, you know, even a homeless person could make one of these. That's what's, you know, so amazing about it. You, you know, it, it'd just be great. And, um, you know, the other thing is... Uh, I hope everybody's doing well out there. I'll keep bringing all these ideas to you, you know, as they come to me, you know. Thank you and God bless.